Hey there, and welcome to Ruthful's Art Corner. I'm your host, Ruthful, also known as Ruthful LA. Check out my live stream on Twitch, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for all kinds of art related content. Hello again, everyone. Ruthful here, and I'm so glad you can join me today for this stream. I am ready to talk about art. After all, that's what we do here at Ruthful's Art Corner. All right, so as I said, we're going to go over some art news for a little bit. This is stuff that's happening in the news at this time. First up, we have Edmonia Lewis getting a stamp. So if you're not in the US, this probably isn't all that interesting to you just because it is about our postal system. But even if you're not, it's still pretty cool. So sculptor Edmonia Lewis is going to be featured on a US stamp. Very, very cool. Now, Lewis is considered by many historians to have been the first black artist in her medium of sculpture to be successful in North America and in Europe. She was of Haitian and Ojibwe descent and was known for her exquisite works in marble during the late 19th century. Lewis's Death of Cleopatra is owned by the Smithsonian and endures as her most famous work. Sadly, many of her pieces are lost, but who knows? Maybe day soon we'll read a news story about them finding one of her sculptures in somebody's basement somewhere. You know, fingers crossed. Stranger things have been known to happen. And her stamp is based on a portrait of her taken by Augustus Marshall between 1864 and 1871. Now, that was a very tumultuous period of time. You had Reconstruction going on. Black Americans were making big, big strides after the Civil War, but then they were also meeting some of the fiercest resistance ever. We won't get too far into the history of that because we can save it for another chat and really do a deep dive but I just think uh, it's really fascinating that she managed to thrive and produce uh, an enduring, well, I would say an enduring body of work, but since we only have a few pieces, an enduring legacy of a body of work. Very, very cool. So I look forward to seeing those stamps. Now, another piece of art news, we've got the Cheech Marin Center for Chicano Art opening in May, 2022. Again, this is possibly a little uh, US-centric, but it is still an interesting topic as far as art news, as far as I am concerned. The groundbreaking Cheech Marin Center for Chicano Art and Culture will be opening in May of 2022, just a few months from now. So that's very cool, and it's going to be part of the Riverside Art Museum family, and it will house hundreds of paintings, photographs, sculptures, and drawings. So there will be a wide variety of mediums to see there and the extensive collection will be available for researchers and students that's right uh interesting user our news is hot off the presses oh this isn't actually breaking news if you're someone who follows the art news in the los angeles southern california area but if you don't follow it all that closely this might be the first time you're hearing about it so you should definitely check it out and if you're in la or farther it is worth the trek out to Riverside to see this museum once it is open. From what I understand, he has got the largest collection of Chicano art in the world. Portions of it have been going around, being on display at various places, but now it's all going to be in one place. It probably won't all be on display at any one time, just given the way most museums are run. But as I said, the collection itself will be available to researchers and students who need to see all of the works for various academic reasons. And then some very, very interesting exhibits will get put together. And I, for one, am very excited to make the exodus out to Riverside to see that. Our next story in the art news category is about immersive art experiences. Everybody loves those, right? If you haven't been to one yet, very, very, very cool. I know I've said very cool, like, I don't know, 10 times, or you could turn it into a drinking game. Every time I say very cool, drink. Every time I mispronounce an artist's name, drink. And you know, you don't have to drink booze if you're not having booze at this time or ever. You could be drinking water. This is your way of hydrating. Every time I make a mistake, hydrate or drink, you know, whatever you're into. But anyway, 
These immersive art experiences are really, really fun. My partner and I went to see the Van Gogh or Van Gogh one here in LA a couple months ago, and it was really, really awesome. So first up, we have a Mona Lisa experience coming to Marseille, France. Uh, and that is in partnership with the Louvre. And then there's gonna be a new Frida Kahlo immersive experience coming to Los Angeles. I know, I know, most of my stuff at the moment is LA centric, but that's just because it's the easiest thing for me to research. I promise I will have more from elsewhere. But uh, if you couldn't tell by the username, Ruthful LA, I am in fact an LA based person. You're about to drink for the whole week in one stream. Ah, I know, I'm sorry. I'll try to come up with another another word besides very cool. It is fantastic. It is interesting. It is intriguing. Help me out, folks. If you can think of good synonyms for very cool, feel free to type them in the chat. Give me a couple of other catchphrases. I need them. <laughs> if I keep saying, oh, I'm sorry, I just accidentally kicked a cat. That, like, kicked like a soccer ball, like, tapped with my toe. Sorry, Funches. That's the problem when you have so many cats. They're just all, all underfoot. So yeah, so these cool immersive art experiences are happening. Those are just two that I found out about, but honestly, there's probably a bunch happening everywhere. How amazing. Boom. It's JC. You got it. Dope is also a good one. That is dope. Mind blowing, the cat's pajamas. These are all great suggestions. I am gonna make sure to make some notes when I review the stream afterwards and check out the chat. I wonder if that's actually a thing I have access to. See, I'm so new to streaming that I don't know if I actually get to read the chat, like a transcript of the chat afterwards, but that's something that I will look into after my stream or maybe tomorrow because I think I'm gonna need to rest after this. Maybe watch a little expanse or something. All right. Now that we've covered the immersive art experiences, let's get to what I believe is the final news item, which is the Basquiat film that is in the works. Now, it is by director Julius Ona. Uh, it has not started filming yet. Yeah, take a look at that experience in Marseille. Just let us know how it is. Am I saying that right? Hopefully, I am not forcing you to drink on that one. So the working title is Samo Lives, and that's based on one of his artworks. And filming is scheduled to begin in fall of 2022. Now, the director, Ona, writes, Simply put, Jean-Michel Basquiat's work and life have been an absolute inspiration. When I began to learn about him in the age of 14, it was incredible to discover someone who boldly forged his own path into a world where most who didn't fit the expected profile of a fine artist had been unable to, i.e. white and male. Though I could not yet appreciate the enormity of what Jean-Michel's achievements meant, I could certainly feel there was something so groundbreaking and unique about them. So there you go. That is the perspective of the director of a upcoming film about the awesome artist Basquiat, the very dope artist whose life was sadly cut too short, but who left behind a very large body of work. Because of the large body of work, you can find his pieces in a lot of different places. We've got a number of them here in LA at different institutions. There's some at the Broad, there's some at LACMA. But I'd be willing to bet that there are some available in Europe as well at various institutions and possibly in other places as well. I mean, I feel like his work really gets around. It's not just the US, but you know, all over. He's a very, very ubiquitous artist or his art is ubiquitous. All right, so. I wanna mention my Stuck On You sticker giveaway. Trying to get to 50 followers and thank you all for helping me out. Oh, thank you, MC, oh, that MF. I'm still trying to decide if I should be saying people's names or if I should be saying their usernames. I'm, I'm still new to the streaming thing, but I'm glad you enjoyed the session. I had a great time doing it. But like I said, my Stuck On You sticker giveaway I'm trying to reach 50 followers. That's the Twitch magic number. Once I hit that magic number of 50 followers, I'm gonna do a random draw giveaway for two of my followers. You don't have to be present to win. Just whenever it happens, I'll take a screenshot of my followers list and then pick two at random. Each was gonna receive a sticker pack containing five stickers. 
plus a handwritten thank you card. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, I am more than happy to mail these stickers overseas. So, you know, please share with your friends. That's how you can help. I think I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> How can you help share this channel with artists and art enthusiasts? If you know anyone who is into art, please send them the link to this channel. Let them know that they can watch past videos so they can get an idea of what I am here doing. And uh, yeah, put it on your social media. Invite others to the Artsy Farts community. I was thinking, ooh, the stickers are certified dope AF. Well, thank you. I agree. That's basically what they look like, too. It's my little I Heart LA sticker. I will also be creating new stickers for this channel just because stickers are fun. Everybody loves them and they're cheap to mail. <laughs> but so, yeah, Artsy Farts is what I was thinking you all could be called, my followers. What do you think? You down to be the artsy farts? It's fun! Ah, thank you, Mara. Thank you so much. Or, yeah, I'm just gonna say people's names if I know their names, but then that'll be confusing for other viewers. Thank you anyway, though. And by the way, I'm gonna be emailing you about uh, your offer to do a calligraphy interview. Mora is fine. Okay, well, cool. Mora is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be getting in touch with you. I do want to have you on to talk about calligraphy. It'll be soon for sure. I do want to start doing interviews with artists because I feel like that would be another way to kind of jazz up this content right now. It's just me talking. So, you know, it'd be good to have somebody else talking too. <laughs> we can have a conversation. Thanks for watching this video. I put all of the links down in the description so that you can check them out in your own time. Remember, if you want to chat with me while I deliver this content live, make sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash RuthfulLA. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel to help me grow the Artsy Farts community.